Hello, hello. Uh, I made it. I'm here at the uh, History Museum in uh, La Laguna in Tenerife, and uh, I wanted to come here for a while because apparently they have the maps of uh, Fombuch. He was one of the naturalists in uh, uh, the early 1800s, and uh, here uh, is one of his maps, and the one from La Palma is over there as well. So um, I've been here before a few years ago, but uh, this was prior to me recording things. So here is Fambu's map, the original <laughs> Fambu's map from 1815 or something. Yes, 1815, Leopold Fambu, it's published in French. And uh, um, here is the map. And he was very interested in calderas and uh, Let's see whether I get this a little better. Yes, I also probably need a little bit of light. I'll take care of this in a minute. So uh, here we have the Caldera de uh, Las Cañadas and he mapped this already some uh, 200 years ago. And here is the Dorsales, the Northeast Rift Zone. And here's the Anaga Massif, which has deeper erosion. So he pictured this quite well with the deep barrancos that he shows here and the more flat topography here. And Tede, the peak being in the center here, Pico de Tede. And uh, then he has the deep barrancos in the south. So let's move over to the La Palma map. And it's here, here it is, oh my God, <laughs> quite nervous actually. So here's the La Palma map. And uh, um, this is the, map of La Palma by Leobold von Buch as well. And uh, he believed in craters of elevation. He believed that these craters would form when the material is doming up and it would shift the material and tilt it on the flanks. So he didn't want to uh, see it as a volcano where the layers are deposited on top. The inclined layers, his view, were originally flat-lying basaltic material that was then pushed to the side to become inclined. Well, while details of this model are, of course, not entirely accurate, uh, the concepts have helped dramatically to move us forward in science. So here is the Caldera de Taburiente, and this is the place where the term caldera was coined. He used the Spanish word for pot uh, because it was a deep depression, like a giant pot, and uh, this is what he called the caldera. So intriguingly, this area here is the Bejenado area. This is actually not part of the caldera. This is post caldera. The real caldera kind of comes out here. So in this part here. So, and uh, the new volcano grew around about this area here. And uh, the ridge is not quite as long as it is in reality, but we have to admit it was mapping this 200 years ago. And uh, this was uh, quite a, a feat. So let's see, I think I can open the window here. So yes, ah, so hopefully we get a little bit more light. So this is the Van Buch maps and I'm gonna, I'm gonna study them in a little bit more detail in a few minutes. But there's also a number of other maps. Here is uh, uh, one from 1600. And uh, there is also several old Dutch maps I'm interested in. And uh, they show the Canary Islands here, the Fortunate Isles. So, uh, because uh, they are considered uh, particularly nice in terms of climate. And uh, here's another kind of depiction of the Fortunate Isles. So, uh, let's see. There's some of the old Dutch maps in these cabinets, I remember. Yes, and here it is. So let's see whether I get this. Groot Canaria, Gran Canaria, Tenerife. And uh, this is, um, I am not entirely sure of the year when this was done. I'll find out later. But um, this is from the times when the Dutch were uh, one of the leading seafaring nations. And uh, here we have uh, Puerto Ventura, Lanzarote, and um, this is one of the gorgeous old maps. So let's see. Ha! Wow. This looks even older. Again, I need to check out the exact age. But um, this shows uh, the Mediterranean. It shows uh, Africa. And it shows Africa, particularly Northern Africa, with Egypt here. And uh, 
the uh, Arabian Peninsula and of course it shows the Canary Islands just over here tiny little set of islands and it actually starts to give some climate zones here so here is a uh, different climate areas given so uh, whoa I'm impressed so I will spend a little bit of time here now and uh, let's see what is what is there as well there's another rather intriguing map and it's a map of Tenerife oh, the light is not very good so maybe I need to close the window again after all but um, yeah so beautiful old maps here and a whole room full of them so and uh, I shall delve in there now and enjoy the old cartography work that is stored here the museum is tasked with uh, archiving these maps and uh, this is a wonderful place to spend half a day, I think, before I'm going to meet Juan Carlos in the afternoon. Okay, all the very best. Thank you so much. And I uh, hope to have you again very soon.